Hello. In this short video, I'm going to show you how to create uh, breakout rooms and move participants around through the breakout rooms. Uh, you might want to use this if you're using this with a class, especially a larger class where you want to ha them to have some small group discussions you know, for relatively short periods of time and then bring them back together for a whole class discussion. In this sample, I only have two participants, um, so it's, you're not going to see you know, 20 people being moved into breakout rooms, but to, I'll just show you the basics. Uh, what you do is you start in the Tools menu again, and here we're going to go to the Breakout Rooms um, tool, and it, what you're going to do is you're going to create breakout rooms. Okay. Now the name of the rooms, you can have some, um, um, some basic name, and it's going to give them some numbers, so I'm just going to call it Discussion Room. Let's say I'm going to create four breakout rooms. Um, I can either not move participants and allow them to move themselves, or I'm going to distribute the participants evenly. Perhaps I don't have, you know, I don't want to do a quick, quick uh, division to know how many are people. Or I might want to have them divided into certain groups. So let's say I'm going to, you know, maybe I want groups of four. Uh, I could also include the moderators in the distribution or not. Um, you'll see moderators are able to move themselves from group to group. So sometimes you want them to be part of the, you know, part of the assigned discussion groups and maybe not. So let's click uh, Create. And so in this case, because I, had, I told it I wanted groups of four, it says, hey, you've only got one participant, so you only need one room. And so here I do. I, I have a room, and I have one participant in there. If I wanted to join that person in that room, I would just click my little uh, participant name, and I would drag myself into that discussion room. And now we would have our own whiteboard to use that we could draw on if we wanted to draw on it. Uh, and then we could, uh, if I went back into the main room, I'd see that the main room has a different discussion board. And so this one doesn't have anything drawn on it yet because this is the main room. So if I go back in with a participant, it has its own whiteboard, it has its own audio channel, it has its own chat window. Um, or I can go back into the main room, which still has its own chat, w chat uh, function, has its own br um, whiteboard, etc. Now, because you're a moderator, you'll see, uh, oh, here's one difference about the chat window being seen by the moderator at all times. If you're not in that, win in that room, if you're in a different room, you will not see the chat going on in those other rooms. Okay? So just keep that in mind. Uh, so that's one way to do breakout rooms. Let's, take a, let's do it uh, one other way. So let's go back to breakout rooms. Well, how do we bring everybody back? Well, there's a nice little handy uh, selection here, return everyone to the main room. So what that does is it brings them all back. It doesn't delete the breakout rooms. If I wanted to delete the breakout room, I can use a little drop down menu here and just say I'm going to close the breakout room. So let's see if we're going to, let's, let's try to break, create breakout rooms one more time. Um, and I'm going to have, this time I'm going to have four rooms. I'll just say distribute participants evenly and I'm going to create them. So now I get these four rooms. Now I might want to rename these. And so once again in this little men menu over here, I can rename the breakout room and I'll just call this the, uh, the golden uh, the golden triangle. Uh, maybe they're going to be discussing the golden triangle. All right, and another group, uh, maybe they're going to be named something else. Uh, so let's just call them the, um, uh, the yellow submarine. This is the yellow submarine group. Uh, and click OK. And then I can move people from, from one room to another. Uh, I can move myself into another room. Um, so you can do a lot of different things with these. Um, so what I would do as an instructor is typically I'd put the students in breakout rooms and I would move myself from room to room to check in, check in on time, send a little note by chat saying, hey, we're going to be here for five more minutes or listen in or, or chime in if I needed to. Uh, and then when it's time to bring everybody back, I let them all know we're going to be coming back in about, you know, at a particular time. And then I would just go up to my, my menu uh, in the breakout rooms and just return everyone to the main room and we would go on with our class. That's the basics on using breakout rooms.